Yo people, so I've been thinking about doing this video for a little while now and I'm just going to go over my control setup that I use for simulator battles on the PS4. So we'll go into controls, go to main control axis. Now I have my throttle on the right stick and my yaw on the right stick. If you want to have them on opposite sticks then just do the opposite of what I'm doing. But we're going to edit axis of the throttle first. Press square to auto detect. Up and down on the stick. Square to come out of auto detect. You can see all the settings that I've got here. You're going to want to have relative control set to yes. Make sure that's set to yes. And we'll come out of that. Also for hold throttle for web. Select that for yes as well, and what that will allow you to do is you'll move your stick all the way up to 100% throttle and then you can let go of it because you've selected relative control. But when you hold forward on the stick, you'll go into war emergency power. And that works really well for me. The next thing I'm going to do is the yaw, just because it's on the same stick as my throttle. So we'll go edit axis, auto detect, left and right on the stick for your come off of auto detect now you can see all my settings I've turned my multiplier down to 0 0.6 and that helps with the sensitivity if you find that your yaw is too sensitive then maybe come into your multiplier and turn it down a little bit this is pretty good for me personally so now we'll go into roll and pitch starting with the roll edit axis auto detect left and right for roll come off of auto detect see my settings again if your sensitivities are a little bit too high try and turn down your multiplier and it might help you this is a bit of a sweet spot for me come out of that pitch axis now, auto detect, up and down, come off of auto detect, you see my settings again, again I've changed my multiplier down to 0 0.75, just because I don't like it to be overly sensitive. Now here's my sensitivities, I found that even having it down at 0% was too much, so I turned down the multipliers as you saw. You're probably going to want to invert your axis as well, so make sure that's switched to yes. And we'll go on to mechanization. Toggle flaps for me. Everything here is on the D-pad, so for me to toggle flaps, I press right. Uh, I've got all three set, but you could probably just set the one, and it'll work just fine. Toggle air brake for me, left on the D-pad and then toggle my gear is up on the d-pad pretty soon you'll see that uh, my down button on the d-pad is for my aerobatical smoke go to gunners now what I've done for my gunners is nothing I don't think I think it comes as default as this but uh, again just edit axis left and right for your x-axis come off of auto detect here's my settings and just do pretty much the same for your y-axis here's my sensitivities works okay for me but I rarely ever fly any planes which have gunners so it doesn't really apply too much to me so you guys might wanna change your sensitivities to whatever you like and we'll go to camera control change view for me if I ever do fly a bomber all I gotta do is press triangle and it comes from the cockpit view to the gunner view or from the gunner view to the bombing view and yeah that works fine for me personally and we'll go down a little bit view in battle as you can see here I've got two settings to be able to use my view in battle to track enemies so we'll go into edit axis 
auto detect mines on my right stick so left and right come off of auto detect so my enable access as I said I've got two uh, two controls set so to do that pretty easy I'll remove my binding go on assign button click in my R3 button add now I've only got that assign button again press L2 now I've got two options and you'll see why I do that pretty soon here's my uh, settings for all this edit axis and the Y axis so auto detect up and down come off of auto detect do the same exact thing here and all my settings are exactly the same as the X axis now head movement forward and backwards I've got it as you can see uh, left and right so we'll go and uh, edit axis it's just how I prefer it to be so auto detect left and right come off of auto detect my enable axis is X so all I gotta do is hold down on X move my stick left or right however I want it to be and then that's that you're gonna wanna have relative control set to yes for this head movement upward and downwards again enable access is X and then just press auto detect move your stick up and down and come off of auto detect again relative control selected to yes and here's all my settings head movement left and right is tied into my tracking but tied into this setting of my tracking so if we go in there edit axis enable axis is L2 and auto detect left and right come off of auto detect I've got my multiplier turned up to 1.3 as you can see and yeah so we'll come after that there's my aerobatic smoke you can see it's down on the d-pad we'll go to aiming here's my uh, sensitivities for my camera control that works pretty fine for me trimming this is really important in simulator battles um, so I'll remove that binding real quick and I'll tell you what I do so if I assign the button all I gotta do to do my trimming is hold down on my R3 button which is the stick so I hold down on the stick move my elevators and my ailerons to however I need them depending on the speed that I'm going and then press L1 and it sets my trim manual engine control so for me to select from automatic engine control to manual engine control all I gotta do is hold down on R3 and push up on the button and then that goes to manual engine then I can toggle my radiators, toggle the tur turbocharger and toggle the supercharger I'll probably uh, add some screenshots in and then weaponry you can see I've got all my guns set to R2 uh, open bomb bay door hold down R3 and push the R1 button that opens and closes the bomb bay if you are in a bomber my bombs are on R1 and my rockets are on L1 my radar if I'm in a plane which has a radar to turn it on and off I just hold down the X button and press down on the D-pad and you can see all the rest of this so now we'll go to common controls tactical map for me is circle hold down circle and it brings up the map statistics like the 
scoreboard I just press down on the touchpad that's not applicable to sim doesn't matter now for me to chat in game and type messages to people in the chat I hold down on my L3 button and R3 button and then that brings up the keyboard for me to be able to type my zoom is on square and I can I can press square and it'll zoom in to 100% and I can still track enemy enemies like that alternatively because I've got two buttons set for tracking enemies I can hold down on the L2 button and press up here's my sensitivities and then voice messages for me to uh, chat and use in-game voice commands all I do is hold down on the L3 button move the stick around to the command that I want press X and then it it says the command that I want just make sure you have this set to yes and then it should work also make sure this is set to yes as well and that's just about everything so I'll take you into a test flight and I'll show you how the controls work now we're in a test flight I'm going to um, start off by just sitting forward a little bit bring my head up a little bit make it a little bit easier for um, deflection shots and seeing over the nose and whatnot. start the engines up by moving the stick forward just slightly now I'm going to set my aircraft trim in the F4U4B you'll want about 25 to 30 percent elevator trim and then the same for ailerons but you, you'll probably want about 25 27 will do for ailerons and we are good for takeoff we'll power up hold forward for wet bring up the gear start reducing trim as we gain speed I'm going to go into manual engine control close the radiators to get less drag get a faster straight line speed Now this is me looking around by holding in the stick. You can see that the seat is in the way when I look around with the stick. I usually use this in a combat situation because I'll be, you know, I'll be flying quite erratically anyway in a uh, combat situation in a dogfight. But if I'm just cruising around and scanning for targets and I want to check my six, I'll hold down on L2 and then look behind me and I can look around the seat so um, yeah I think that's pretty much everything uh, thanks for watching stay safe